Hi, boys and girls. This is letter book page four. We're going to do lowercase h. Watch me first before you get to work. Okay, lowercase h. You're going to start on the dot, just like capital H. Start on the red line. Go straight down to green. Stop. Don't pick your pencil up. Go straight back up to yellow. And right as you get to yellow, you're going to curve over and go straight back down to green. It's all one motion. You go down, you go back up and curve on yellow and straight down. Watch me again. Start on red, straight down to green, back up to yellow. And right as you get to yellow, you curve on yellow, go across the yellow line sit back down on green. Let's do it one more time. Start on red, straight down to green, straight back up on the same line you just made, curve on the yellow line, go across the yellow line, and then straight back down to green. Lowercase h. Looks like a chair almost. Okay. Let's see what we don't want it to look like. I want you to start on red, but when you come back up, if you miss going on the same line, you end up with that big giant V in the middle. You don't want to have a big giant V over here. You don't even want a little V. You're going to trace right on top of the line you made the first time. Okay. And we also, if you go straight down, want to make sure that you touch the yellow line. There should not be a big space between your H and between your curve over and the yellow line. It needs to go across and touch the yellow line. And we also need to make sure that it's not too skinny because that doesn't really look like much of an H, does it? starting to look like it should be a B. And we want to make sure it's not too big. Okay, again, you should be able to put your thumb or your index finger at the bottom of your H and it fits. Actually, maybe even a pinky finger. My pinky finger fits in the bottom of the H. So not your thumb, your pinky finger. If you're goes over too far and you have more than a pinky finger in there then it's too big on the bottom. Now I've got a real challenge for you. Ready? On the bottom of your lowercase h writing you remember we always have capital lowercase capital lowercase here's the trick h is a tall letter lowercase h is a tall letter just like capital H. So you have two dots on the red line. All the dots are on the red line. So you have to be careful, very careful. Remember, capital H gets one dot. So here's my capital H. Start on the first dot, straight down, frog jump up to red, only have little thumbs width apart, just a little bit. Straight down to green again, frog jump to yellow, and cross it on the yellow line. Okay? Then my next dot is on the red line, too. Don't use the second dot for capital H. That's for your lowercase h. Remember, lowercase h starts up here. So you're going to start on the dot for lowercase h. Straight down to green. Go right back up on the same line, curve across the yellow, straight down to green. Capital lowercase. Then you're going to do it again. You got to remember the pattern. Capital lowercase. Capital. Straight lines, cross on yellow. The next dot is lowercase. Straight down, straight back up on your same line, across yellow, straight down to green. And then we're doing another capital, cross yellow, back up to red for lowercase, up and over, straight down, another capital, 
cross in the middle on the yellow line. Lowercase, start on the red, go to green, back up to yellow, cross over yellow, straight down. Let's make sure our line does not go above the yellow line. Okay? I didn't want you to go below the yellow line, but I also don't want you to go up and above the yellow line. Okay, we don't want to do that either. So make sure it stays, it goes right across on the yellow line, not above it or below it. So you can take your time. Remember, this is our practice page. This is to practice how to make lowercase h. So if you look at the bottom row, it's capital lowercase, capital lowercase. All the dots start on red. Capital gets one dot. The next dot is for lowercase. Next dot is capital, next dot is lowercase. Only one of the capitals gets a dot. Take your time. Circle your best eight, lowercase h. I can't wait to see these. I hope you used your very best handwriting with a pencil. Take your time, remember, if you make a mistake and you really don't like it, erase it all the way. Don't write on top of it. Okay? Don't go back and say, oh, yeah, now here, I'll fix it. That's way too confusing. Okay? Make sure you erase all the way if you make a mistake and then fix it. Okay? I can't wait to see your H's. I will see you in just a minute. We're going to practice one of our sight words on the next page. See you in the next video.